Clint the Toolman Childs, and I'm here to show you how to strip paint from tiles. I've got about a hundred year old fireplace here from a lady I bought this house from. Uh, her name was Ruth. Apparently she killed her kid in the bathtub, and then uh, some guy, was a gay guy in the neighborhood, kind of stole her inheritance. The family's been mad. Um, I don't really know too much about her other than that. Uh, I'll probably just show you a picture or something, I don't know. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Anyway, she had about 50 or 60 years of paint on her, including this weird orange shit. I want to strip it down to the original here and then put a glaze over it so it looks better. Um, what you'll need is uh, some of this stuff right here. It's paint and epoxy remover. I got the one from Jasco. Get that at Home Depot. The idiots at Home Depot will try to sell you this shit. It smells like uh, citrus, but uh, it doesn't work. I'm going to take it back even though I use most of it. The only tool you really need is uh, one of these little razor blade things. Uh, they're about five dollars at Home Depot, but if you wear cargo pants like me, you can just shop with them. Got like two or three of them today. What you want to do here is take this Jasco, dump it in one of these paint rolling bucket things here. You don't need much. It's kind of a gel, like a. Let's get the, get the dogs in the chemicals. Get out! Get out! That's dangerous. Yeah. Anyway, the. Uh, it's, it's like a jelly, like a, like a KY jelly for, you know, anal sex and things like that, but it'll, it'll do the job here. It's a little bit more consistent than a paint thinner. Just, all you have to do, as you can see, I can take this thing right here and not much comes off. It's, but, you roll on this KY jelly stuff here, you know, get it, get it all over this butthole of the tile. Just rub it in there. I don't think they want to hear you talk about buckles. I mean, uh, they want to talk to you, you. I don't think they want to hear you talk at all. Well, just show them this. Are you zooming in on this? Because it's only been there, what, 15 seconds? It just comes right off now. This shit works amazing. It smells bad. Oh, they tell you to wear gloves. I don't because I don't have that steady of a hand. It sprinkles off on you. It burns a little bit, but it's not going to cause any stains on your skin or anything. They're not going to look like seal if you Yeah. This Rip it off. Did you do something wrong? Why does that one not look like the other? Well, the, all the tiles are different, but once you do that, it will, once it dries out, it'll look a little different. Mm -hmm. Also, what I did was to get here in these, uh, where, the, where the grout was, shoplift a little wire brush for your drill from Home Depot. I don't always shoplift, but I do at Home Depot because there's never anybody there to help you, and I feel like it, it, it makes me feel better as a person to get over on them. This son of a bitch was seven dollars. Get on in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it splatters on you. It got all over my leg. It burns like a son of a bitch, but that's not too bad. Yeah, then go back through there, get all the rest off, and do that to the rest of your fireplace. Is this where we like cut to a shot of you having finished it all? I don't know when I'm going to finish, but yeah, we could do that. Yeah, because otherwise this is kind of not helpful. Well, no. If somebody has this problem, they're going to be able to get this shit off in no problem. You could probably do the same thing to get a lot of other stuff off things. Yeah, but they're going to look at this and go, this would take me a week. It might take you a week, but you're a fucking lazy bitch. Just what you know. Have a good day, and good luck with your home improvements. <laughs>